Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So guess what today is? It's giveaway day and I'm so excited to show you guys the things that I'm going to be giving away. But first, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on how to add your paper signature into your glue folio. I was asked by a subscriber yesterday if I could show that because I'd never done it before, so I am happy to do that. I'm gonna try and show you a way that I find to be very easy. There are lots of different ways to do this, um, but this is a way I feel is the simplest for me to explain it to you and for you to do on your own. But like I said, there are lots of different ways and it also depends on what kind of book you're using. So. This is the black and white glue folio that I'll be giving away. I have an all, I have paper clips, but you can also use binder clips. I do use these sometimes, but for this purpose, for what I'm doing today, I prefer paper clips, but I wanted to show you. Um, and then I have um, a bigger needle that I'm gonna use to sew this in. Now I do have a book binding kit that I can show you that I got on Amazon. It comes with tons of stuff. Um, it comes with bone folder, the needles, um, waxed thread, which I don't like, but many, many people in the crafting community do. Um, just all kinds of things to make glue books or junk journals or whatever. So I'll list that in the comments below or in the description, I'm sorry, um, in case you don't have these items. So what I do for my glue folio is I use six pieces of paper that are eight and a half by 11. I feel like that's just enough and not too many, um, but it also gives you 24 gluing surfaces. So one, flip it, two, three, yada, yada. So that's quite a bit. Um, and I alternated between black and white in mine. So six pieces of paper, I folded them in half. And then I, um, okay, hold on. Let me, how do I want to do this? Okay, here's how I'm going to do this. So this is why it's kind of hard for me to teach because I'm an eyeball kind of person. Like, <laughs> I am an eyeball person. I like to eyeball things because I'm pretty good at it. But here is my half inch spine. I did add another little piece of cardstock right here just to make the spine even more durable. Um, so I'm going to mark, you know, a quarter inch on either side here. You can measure if you need to, I'm not going to. And then I take my ruler, find those dots, and just draw really lightly with a pencil, a line down the middle. Can you guys see that line? I hope you can see it with the pencil. But I just drew a really light line down the middle. Now I have an old book from the Dollar Tree and inside, anytime I have like packaging or um, cardstock that's like, like this is back of packaging. I stick it in this book and I just keep adding more. And this is what I use to punch my holes so it doesn't go through my table. Now, this is the time where you can take your ruler if you want um, perfect measurements between each. But again, I'm an eyeballer. So if you wanna do that, you know, use this. So this is eight and a half. So you're gonna wanna start your first one at four and a quarter. So let me find four and a quarter. I'll add my little dot here. So I'm just gonna add a little dot on that line. And then let's come up one inch from the bottom and I'll add a little dot. And then one inch from the top and I'll add a little dot. So those are gonna be my three holes that I'm gonna punch. So let's do that right now. I'm gonna make sure that this is on my book. I'm gonna take my all and I'm just gonna punch right where that dot is. And I kind of wiggle mine around just a little bit. Don't make your hole too big. I just kind of lightly do a little wiggle. Don't like really go to town or you're gonna rip your paper and make your hole too big and then your signature will be loose. So I just kind of wiggle it a little. It actually looks like I'm wiggling it more than I am. And <laughs> wiggle it just a little bit. Sorry, I always break into song for everything I do. Okay, so now I have my three holes. And I'm going to take an eraser. Um, if you forget to erase your line, don't worry about it. I mean, your signature is gonna go over it anyways. 
but I'm giving this away in a giveaway, so I don't want somebody to see the little line I made there because that's not, that's not cool. All right. I can still see it right here. Go away, little line. Okay. So now that I've erased that and I have my three holes, one, two, three. Okay. So this is how I do this part. Now you can take your paper and also put the lines or the dots in the same spot, one inch from the top, one inch from the top and at 425. But this is how I do it most of the time, just to make sure that it's exactly even. I take my middle piece of paper, because I have six papers, right? I take my middle one and I reverse fold it just for a second here. And I line it up, but first, very lightly, I'm gonna put a T for top. Because even though these are evenly matched, if you put where your holes are and then say you take this off and it gets turned upside down, your your punch holes are not gonna match and you're gonna be like, why is my signature wonky? Trust me, make the little step to put a little T for top. And what I do is I line my paper up how I want it, right up to those little holes. And I just make a little tiny pencil mark where that hole is. That way I know for sure that this paper matches and it's not gonna be off. Okay, so then I refold it back the way it's supposed to be. Put it back in the middle of my signature and then I put my fingers in here like this and I kind of pound it onto the table. <laughs> slam it onto the table here to make sure that these papers are butted all the way up into the spine. I don't want these loose. I want these tucked right up in there. So take the time, kind of go like that. And then I take my fingers and kind of press to make sure all the papers are pushed in. And this is where, still holding it with this hand, I add my paper clips. Don't add them too low or else they'll get in your way. So I add my paper clips, or you can use binder clips. I just find um, for something like this that the paper clips are a little bit easier because sometimes the binder clips can be super bulky. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna grab my awl, and I'm gonna open this up, and still kind of keeping it closed a little bit, you don't wanna have it all the way open, that kind of changes your holes. So still having it kind of at an angle, but I still wanna be able to see, I put my awl right where that hole is, give it a little wiggle wiggle, do the same over here, take your time because this will, you know, set the base for your book. So this part, we don't wanna rush when we're working on our signatures. Okay, so there we go. Um, let me see which side was the top now because I just realized I wrote that on, where did I put it? Oh, this is my top. Okay, there's my little T right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside now. Now the general rule of thumb, like I said, I normally use embroidery floss. I don't know where my black is, so I'm gonna use this white string that's basically the same as embroidery floss. Typically you take the length of your book times three Usually that's too much, but you always want to have more string than not enough. So you use about three lengths of the book you're working on. So this is eight and a half. So I went one, two, three. All right, let's thread our needle. Okay, so now I take this, make sure, double check again. There's my T, this is my top. So, and again, people do this differently. Some people start in different spots. So if you see somebody doing this differently than I am, they're not doing it wrong and I'm not doing it wrong. You can do this lots of different ways and still get the same result. It's all personal preference. Um, so I take my needle and you wanna have, you know, a good amount of string hanging over here. And I put it through the middle hole. This is the personal preference. Some people start at the bottom, some people start at the top. I start in the middle. I'm gonna take these out for, for right this second just because they'll flop around. Okay, 
and then I put it in the middle hole, pull it out, and I wanna leave quite a long tail back here. That, just trust me, it'll help you. Turn it around, and for this book, it's kind of easier to just put the hole, put the needle through the hole in the glue folio in the bottom. Hold up here. Um, okay, get in there. And then kind of gently open this up. I have my fingers in the middle there and find your hole, put it through, pull your string through. Let's see, where's the tail? There we go. Where's my tail at? Oh, there we go. My tail got too long. <laughs> okay, so now we still have this. Now I take it all the way to the top here, put it through, kind of close it a little bit, that'll help. Put it through, and then put it through the top hole. It's okay if everything's loose right now. We will tighten all that up when we're done here. There's that long tail again. Let's get that. There we go. Okay. And then, this part's really important. You can still keep your signature a little bit loose here. But when you put it through this hole, you really wanna make sure you're not poking through this thread right here. So kind of push your thread to the side and kind of put your needle to the side a little bit because you don't want to go through the string that's already in here because we're putting two pieces of string through here. Let's see here. Sometimes I take my string and I kind of pull it off to the side because that kind of helps that string to go that way so this string can go the other way. There we go. Pull it through. There we go. Okay, so we went in through the middle, came out the middle, went into the bottom, came out the bottom, went all the way to the top, put the top through, and then went back through the middle. So now we're all the way through, but before you start tightening, you. I have two strings on the outside of this middle string. You want one to be on either side. So just take your needle and kind of put your thread through. So now I have one on either side. And this is where we're gonna gently, very gently pull your string. See, I had, a, I had loose string there. I kind of pull both directions. There I had another loose bit. And then I open it up and kind of feel this. You want it to be tight and not loose. So I felt it, it felt good. I'm gonna give it one more light squeeze or pull from either side. And don't pull too hard because you'll rip your little hole. <laughs> Giggity. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure my papers are lined up. I know it's tight and now I can tie a knot. So I just, I tend to tie mine three times. I tie one going one way and one going the other. Um, but on this one, I think it's fine just having two. Now here is a personal choice. You can either cut off your string or leave a little dangly. I'm gonna leave a little dangle because um, I think it's cute in this glue book. So now you can take off your paper clips. And now you have, <clears throat> oh wait, I need to erase my, my T. There we go. All right, so now you have your signature. It is all in, everything is even, it looks great, and it was really easy to do. Now, if you have a hard time with this, you can practice with something else, um, but it's really a lot easier than it looks. You just have to remember to go slow and take your time. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. Once you start gluing in your glue book and all that kind of stuff, you can't even tell um, if something's like majorly off. So I punched two little bits of cardstock per lace here. Just a little tiny hole punch or round circle punch that I had. I add a little bit of glue and just put that right on there. And then I take my second piece, add some glue. Excuse my fingernails. I was painting with the glue crew yesterday and I still have paint all over my nails. Even though I wash my hands 5,000 times a day, go figure. Okay, so then I just press this down. Oops, got glue on there. Sorry to whoever gets this, didn't mean to do that. Okay, and then I just gently squeeze this together. 
um, the glue picks up and holds it really quickly. So I don't need to do that for long. All right, let's repeat. Put glue on here. You can put a piece of parchment paper or something underneath if you don't wanna glue right on your paper or a piece of scrap paper or something. And then this piece, you can do this with shapes. If you have like a butterfly punch or a heart punch or whatever, you can do whatever you want here. You can even add beads, that sort of thing. I don't just because I'm a glue booker and I like my books to be flat and not bumpy. So I don't like to add like beads and stuff, but you can keep your string long and have your danglies hang out the bottom. A lot of people do that for junk journaling and stuff, which looks really good. Okay. Oh, I almost put my needle in here, not my <laughs> not my pen. Okay, so that's how you add your signature into your glue folio. I hope I explained that, okay? Um, but now let's get into the giveaway. I will be right back. I'm gonna get everything in order and then we will do the giveaway. All right, guys, it's giveaway time. I'm so happy to do this part. I've been waiting for this. So these giveaway items are uh, for my three year YouTube anniversary. I have just a couple little things I need you to do for me in order to be entered in this giveaway. You do need to be a subscriber of my channel. Um, I would like it if you could please like this video. And I need you to be 18 or over in order to win this prize. Um, this is open internationally, so anywhere around the world, you are able to win a prize. So there are four giveaway items, and I have numbered each of them. So in the comments, I need you to type out which ones you want to be entered in to win. You can enter in all four, but I need you to write one, two, three, and four. Or if you just want to be entered in one and two, or three and four, or however you want that done, um, because I don't want you to win something that you don't really want and somebody else really wants it or needs it. So write down your numbers of which ones you want. And it's okay if you want to add one, two, three, four. I just want to make sure that, um, you know, people are getting something that they want. Okay. So item number one is my black and white glue folio, as well as one of these icing comb sets. If you're new to my channel, you're probably like, what in the world? <laughs> This is a three piece set and I use this one to um, smooth down my images when I'm glue booking. And then the other two I use for paint. Like this one right here has two triangles on either side, bigger and smaller. Great for the jelly plate, great for making painting papers, which is what I did yesterday with the glue crew. Um, so yeah, these are really fun. So you'll get this and then this will have Velcro on it. I can't find my Velcro. So this will have a Velcro when you get it. And this is my black and white glue folio. And inside you have papers. I actually drew this. This is neurographic art that I did. And then you have these cards that you can glue on. I drew this as well. And they're almost like, kind of like a journaling card or an ATC, but in different sizes. Um, obviously these aren't the standard size, but I mean, you use them like you would use an ATC. So these are not ATCs, but you can use them like an ATC. So we have those and they're all different sizes um, because it's fun to glue on different things. So you have those and then you have black and white. This is really nice, thick, um, copy paper that's very white and then you have black copy paper so it's black and white altering you have six pages you have your little doodads there then you open it up and you have gluing surface here gluing surface here more cards um, I also drew this so you get three pieces of my art that's on here so you can glue on those as well and then you close this and what I did for your flips is I added art that I also did. So I drew this and then this is, um, I printed it on cardstock. So this is my neurographic art. And then this is just black and white cardstock, black and white cardstock. This is something that I drew that I printed on cardstock. And then this is cardstock, cardstock. I drew this as well and then cardstock. So these are your waterfall that you can glue on and you can glue on the surface as well. So this is prize number one. 
So we'll set that aside. And then prize number two, you also get this three piece set. And then you it's a coffee folio. So again, this will have Velcro right here to keep this closed. Then you open it up and you have some cut aparts from the paper pad that I used that are all coffee related and then coffee related cards to glue on just like in the black and white. You have faux coffee dyed paper because I know there are a lot of people who like collaging with coffee things but hate the smell of coffee. So this is faux um, coffee dyed paper. And then in here, these are two little coffee beans that are on your little tassel here. And then you have this to glue on and you open it up and you have more gluing surfaces and more little cut aparts. You could use these even to decorate your co uh, your cover. So you can put this right here. Um, I did not round the corners on anything on these because I figured you might be collaging with them or using them however you like. So you can do what you like with those. And then over here is your waterfall and these are all coffee um, scrapbook paper that you can collage on. And then down here, both of these glue books have this. It says, this is my signature stamp. I signed my name and you have the year. So both glue books have that. Okay, so that is number two. Okay, number three is another set of these combs and then these two new Dollar Tree stamps. I just found these this week and I was so excited. So this one's very vintagey. You have stamps typewriters, um, you have a label, uh, a pipe, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then these beautiful flowers that you can stamp and color or whatnot. So I love these. I got one for you guys and one for me because hello, I need these in my life as well. So this is number three. And last but not least, this is number four. So these are also new stamps that I just found at the Dollar Tree. There's this one with the flowers. Absolutely love this. And then this one that are little stamps. How cool is that? Love that. And then this is not from the Dollar Tree. This is actually um, like an $18 stamp set. And these are all postcard. So there's a postage stamp, says airmail. This says postcard. So you could stamp these on postcards if you want. This says postcard, handle with care, United States postage, a butterfly, all that kind of stuff. So you get 16 acrylic stamps here. So you'll get this big stamp set and these two stamps from the Dollar Tree. All right, so let's lay these out for you so you can see what they are. This was number four. This one was number three. Actually, maybe I should go like this so you can kind of see what these are. Three, four, two, and one. So let me know down below which ones you would like to be entered in to win. I will announce the winner on Monday morning, which is, I don't know what day that is. I will put it in the description box. I'm so sorry. I'm having a total like, um, I will put all the info in the description box and I will put all the info in a pinned comment if you're wondering when the end date is and what the rules are. Good luck to everybody. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Uh, in the YouTube land. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and a fabulous weekend. And I will see you Monday. Good luck, guys. Bye.